uh, Hereford Cadet Commemoration Review, here to commemorate the coronation of King Charles III and Queen Camilla. And it also the official start of the Armed Forces Week here in Herefordshire. And here he comes, bang on time, a hawk of hurricane from the Royal Those of you who were watching Trooping of the Colour earlier on today would have seen that plane fly over the palace at, uh, just after one o'clock. Uh, goosebumps, doesn't it? So our thanks to the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, uh, based up at RAF Coningsby. The flight itself operates six Spitfires, two Hurricanes, a Lancaster, a Dakota, two Chipmunk aircraft, and they're all flown by regular members of the RAF. And their patron is now His Royal Highness Prince William, Prince of Wales.
today marks Herefordshire's Coronation Cadet Parade, which is not only a precursor to Armed Forces Week, but it is also the largest cadet parade in Hereford in living memory. It is a special day, and all those parading will be given a badge to mark the occasion. I am wearing mine proudly. Um, it is questionable whether they almost ought to receive a medal for parading in this heat, but anyway, a very smart badge has been given to everyone. The occasion is also a chance to show our support for the men and women who make up our armed force community. That obviously extends to the serving troops, to the service families, veterans and reservists, as well as the cadets. I would like to thank today Herefordshire Council, Herefordshire City Council, the Friends of Castle Green for facilitating us today and to all the generous sponsors. Please do look in the programme at the back. You'll see the logos and the names of all the sponsors, and we are really grateful. This event could not have happened without them. And I would also like to thank those who have taken a stand today. Um, as you can see, they're uh, arrayed around us, um, and I'm pleased at the three military charities, which are so important to Herefordshire. The Royal British Legion, the Army Benevolent Fund and SAFA have all got stands and I'm honoured to be the patron of all those charities. Could I suggest you please find time to visit the stands before you leave today? Um, I'd like particularly to thank Colonel Andy Taylor, the Rifles County Colonel. He has masterminded this occasion with a very strong committee with an enormous group of volunteers. There is a saying, I'm sure you know, that if you want something done well, ask an ex-serviceman. Could we give them all, particularly Andy, some applause? I think you'll agree that this event is not only a spectacle to behold, but the sounds have been rather memorable as well. And to see that very beautiful, elegant hurricane flying over us was really rather emotional, and also to have the wonderful music from the bandmaster, Pat Run's wonderful RAF Cosford Voluntary Band. Um, it's also nice to hear Robert Walbridge's dulcet tones on the commentary, um, not that we seem to be obeying what he's saying to do all the time so far. Um, I'd just like to make the point that Herefordshire has an extraordinary link with the military. 25% um, of our population has some link, direct link, with the armed forces. And we've got the highest proportion of veterans than any local authority in the West Midlands. And support for the armed forces in Herefordshire is extremely strong. And we are very proud of our relationship with our county regiment, the Rifles. And indeed, we're extremely proud to have the garrison for the outstanding regiments at Creddon Hill as well. So I think it's very appropriate that we're celebrating the coronation in such style and in the centre of our wonderful city on a site of tremendous military significance. You may not all be aware, but the name gives it away. We're on Castle Green. This was the site of Hereford Castle, which saw a huge amount of action during the Civil War. Um, for those of you not aware, in the middle of Castle Green is one of the monument to one of our greatest military heroes, Admiral Nelson. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough money to put a statue of Nelson on top of the column. If Roger Phillips had been in charge, I'm sure it would have happened. Um, but nevertheless, the urn on top does celebrate Admiral Nelson. Um, by having our ceremony here today, we are showing our support for the armed forces, which I hope will provide a much needed, much valued morale boost for the troops and their families. But we're also demonstrating the strength of the cadet movement. And the cadets are immaculately turned out. In my review, I noticed no item out of place. The shine of the boots of the shoes were remarkable. And thank you for taking so much trouble in the turnout today. Um, could I ask the cadets, please, to try and remember this unique occasion for two reasons. One, to remember Her Majesty the Queen. Um, she was the longest ever female ruler, which is an extraordinary uh, achievement. And of course, she was head of the armed forces for 70 years. But we're also celebrating the coronation of the king and Queen Camilla. And it was wonderful to see the outstanding performance of the armed forces on the day of the coronation. We did put out feelers to see if His Majesty might attend today, 
However, we discovered quite early on that it was the trooping of the colour, um, which was a bit of a clash, so we, we were out of luck. But I think it was very interesting to see so many senior members of the royal family, four members mounted on horses, taking part in the trooping of the colour, showing the commitment of the royal family to our armed forces, both participants and onlookers. And I'm aware that the onlookers constitute many of the parents of the cadets who, who do their own part to make sure the cadet movement can work. Thank you all for attending and thank you for contributing to this wonderful occasion not to be forgotten. Could we have one final round of applause for cadets, please? Thank you. Well, now as some hope of getting back to the original programme, we have a presentation to make. And the presentation this afternoon is for the Cadet Force Medal to Flight Sergeant Danny Rees. Danny was born and educated in Hereford. As a teenager, he joined the Air Training Corps in Hereford and on leaving school joined the Royal Air Force. He trained as an aero engineer and worked on the Hercules fleet, which incidentally had its last flight today, and completed an operational tour of duty in Afghanistan. On leaving the RAF, he joined the RAF Air Cadets as an adult instructor here in Hereford. He also served for two years as an adult instructor with the Hereford and Worcester Army Cadet Force. He is today awarded with the Cadet Force Medal for 12 years service.
case when you factor your deducts for a very expensive And are now going to move forward, ready for the next party this afternoon. The parade will be the beating of the troop, the evening given very reflect.